This is Togrim, and you are watching Volume 1, the first video in a series of Arena 3v3 videos. We were fortunate to find a Resto Druid who was willing to try out a Prot Pally Enhancement Shaman and Resto Druid comp. This first match here, you can see I heal up uh, the Resto Druid healer, and then I peel by stunning a rogue, and I'm just um, buying enough time for skips to kite and heal. And right there, I just silenced the. Uh, the lock. So we had switched targets between the rogue and the lock in this fight. So I'm off healing Kashmir and I'm far enough away from the rogue that he can't kick me and that's pretty important. You don't want to heal, uh, try to cast a heal next to a melee who could pummel you or kick you, interrupt you, etc. So um, again I'm appealing for uh, I'm appealing for skips here so I stun the rogue and once we get our health's back up high, we go ahead and focus fire on the rogue. As you can see I'm off healing Kashmir there. So in a 3v3 context I spent a lot of my time um, peeling other players, off healing, applying CC, um, and then doing damage whenever I can. There you can see um, Kashmir's, or sorry, um, Skips is getting low so I'm continuing to heal him. I'm going to come over and then I stun the rogue here. Um, as it turns out, we were doing these matches in Vent, and Skip's Vent is a bit laggy, so right there you see we overlapped our CCs. Um, Skip's used his Tarn War Stomp, and I used my Stun. Um, we did actually switch to uh, Skype, and that seemed to be working better for us. So right here they're focus firing on me, and so they had tried to kill Skip's and Kashmir for about 7 or 8 minutes, and they couldn't do it, so they switched over to me, and you can see I was standing in that um, smoke bomb of the rogue, which means I can't be targeted by players for healing outside of the smoke bomb, so I strafe kited away. And as I've talked about in all of my PvP videos, you really want to never use the back key to move, and you want to try to um, strafe, and that way you can maintain your forward facing against your opponents and block and parry. So you can see um, we're trying to do a, a CC burst sequence there. Um, we cycloned the druid, but the rogue had vanished. And then get back on the rogue here, and Kashmir has hexed the rest of the druid, so we have a window to try to burn him down, and we get him right here. Nice job. So this is a very high CC comp, and so you know a lot of times we just got to play defensively nice. until we can pick our spots. Um, I did finish second overall on damage in that particular match. This is against a melee comp. This is a very popular comp right now and has very strong mechanics uh, because warriors can do a lot of damage in PvP and DKs are just a phenomenally well-rounded class right now uh, between their CC damage and healing abilities and survivability. So um, they open up on Kashmir, so I'm off healing Kashmir and then um, they make a hard switch here in a second over to skips. So. He skips gets bombed. You can watch his health bar just drops really quickly. Um, I should have stunned first here, but instead I um, heal skips and get a 29k crit wog, and then I bubble him. Okay. Um, but in general, you know, you have an option uh, if another player is in trouble, either healing them or trying to stun the to CC the DPS. In a lot of cases, uh, as a prop pally, stunning the DPS is uh, actually better and buy you more time. So. I put a walk heal on skips. I should have popped uh, Avenging Wrath here, but I didn't. It would have made my heals bigger. I used Divine Plea there for the three Holy Power. Peel skips. Um, stun the warrior to peel him. Use uh, Avenger Shield as a snare. And then we're healing here on skips from range. So we can't be interrupted unless the warrior wants to intercept us or the DK wants to uh, death grip, which he doesn't do. And we buy enough time for skips to be able to get a gap and kite away and heal up. So I did um, in that window back there also pop um, End of Sacrifice on skips and Divine Guardian for the AoE bubble. So it is kind of like you can think of Divine Guardian as a AoE 6 second bark skin. It's the same thing. Okay so I stun the warrior and I can do this because I know that Kashmir as is loading up a hex, and he, yeah, the second year he's going to go ahead and hex the pally. Oh, I'm sorry, hex the uh, pally. I'm going to use some CC here, so when I come out, go ahead and top off skips with some heals. And then I get back on the warrior, and I pop a AoE silence there just because the uh, pally's standing nearby, and I'm trying to mess up his timing as far as healing. 
Okay, so Kashmir pops his wolves. Um, so we managed to survive some really heavy burst, and we're on the warrior, and we burn him down. And you notice, like, once we started applying really heavy pressure to the warrior, um, he wasn't able to DPS as much as much because he has to uh, play defensively so he doesn't die, and we eventually catch him. His team did come back the next match, and they did beat us um, because we didn't CC the DPS early enough. And I'll talk about that a lot in this match right here. So. Um, this is another very strong comp, Warrior, Ma sorry, Warrior Mage, and Rest of Druid. So they're bombing Skips, and I've got Skips bubbled with Ana Protection. I get uh, Polymorph there, but I immediately pop Trinket, because basically the, the match is, we're in real danger of losing right here, so... Um, and I generally tend to blow my cooldowns very aggressively, it's better to use them too early than too late, in my opinion. So, right here, we're off healing Skips, trying to keep them alive, and... Um, we're trying to get Skips to go downstairs where he can get off this bridge. This bridge is a very bad spot for us because uh, ranged casters and healers um, can free cast from a lot of angles here. So Skips gets downstairs and we're off healing him and protecting him. I come up and silence the mage with Avenger's shield and then come and peel the warrior here with a stun. So we're just buying some precious seconds, precious seconds for uh, Skips to get his health back up high. Um, the, the mage drops Ring of Frost, so we're, we have to stay inside of this here, and I'm continuing to heal Skips. Now, the danger here for both Kashmir and I is, you know, we can heal with cast time heals, but it burns our mana really quickly, so uh, we can only do it in spots. I get cycloned here. Kashmir's getting bombed. I'm trying to heal him, and I stay on the mage. I'm trying to tunnel the mage so that he can't free cast on Kashmir, and you can see when I hit him there, his cast bar move backwards, so... Um, Kashmir's still low, so I go ahead and heal him, and then as soon as I'm out here, I go ahead and stun the warrior. Again, peeling is really critical in a threes team, so I peel for Kashmir, give him an off heal, silence the mage, and these actions help to buy enough time for Skips and Kashmir to get Kashmir's health up high again. So a lot of playing threes, especially uh, in a comp like this where all three of us are capable of healing, is just simply covering for each other and waiting, being patient until we can catch our opponent. So, um, in this particular match, we were trying to tunnel the mage. Um, and if you've heard this term before, you don't know what it means. Tunneling simply means, you know, focus firing on a target um, and interrupting their cast, etc., and shutting them down. So, you know, in some cases, if you tunnel a, a, ca a caster hard enough, um, they won't be able to get their CCs off, etc. So there, again, I peel for skips. I stun the warrior. Um, get a couple one hopo wogs off. Um, to help him top off, and here I go ahead and um, pop out of that polymorph. You know, I could have waited actually because our healths were up high, but we were trying to really put pressure on the mage, so I just figured I'll stay on top of him. Um, and then right here, the, the uh, mage manages to kite and gap us, and he's evocating, so uh, we're not going to be able to stop his evocate in time, so we make a decision to do a hard switch onto the warrior. So I get uh, Sacred Duty up, uh, 3 stack, Shield of the Right, just got a nice 16k crit. And at this point, we've got the enemy healer CC'd, he's hexed, and the warrior is blowing all of his defensive cooldowns. He's in defensive stance with a shield, shield wall, etc. So you can see our damage is really low, but um, Skips gets a clutch cyclone there on the healer, and we burn the warrior down. So this was our first real 3v3 session, and we won 14 games and lost 3, so we got off to a really good start. Um, our team is currently over 1900 with around 45 games played, so I'll have plenty of footage as we make our way up to 2k. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Take care.